Yeah, buddy. <gasps> this is crazy. Oh! Uh oh, wait a second. <laughs> Somebody help me. Send help. I don't know why, but I just let Eric talk me into riding a 5,000 foot climb today. 20 miles ish, is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know all these freedom units, but <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a good ride. This is a classic Sea to Sky ride, and it's one of my favorites. Um, I think you're gonna like it, but we'll, we'll see. Today is gonna be a very fun day. I will say I'm also, I'm, I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum. You're riding too much, I'm not riding enough. So, we're, so you're we're fresh. Gonna, we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle. Okay. Are we allowed to say what the trail is that we're heading yeah, to ride? Yeah, no, it's legal. Okay, Jack the Ripper. We're going to ride Jack the Ripper in Pemberton. Let's go. It's, it's rated Pro-Line, <laughs> but it's it's rated Pro-Line because it's so far out in, into the bush that if you get, if you wreck yourself, I just told him buy insurance actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, that's, that's on my to-do list right now while we're driving there. Because if you get helicoptered out, it's not going to be cheap. Yo, why do you keep saying stuff like this? You're so screwing us. Stop no, it's, it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right. We have made our way down to Pemberton and wow. It's only been a few days, but I kind of forgot how gorgeous it, gorgeous it is down here. Really stoked, Eric. Eric has his van, which is allowing me to, you know, leave Whistler for the day. And um, it's cool because I'm excited to ride some trail. My arms and my body are just beaten down from the last four days of bike park riding. So now uh, we'll beat down my legs. You guys will be happy to know I did get travel insurance, by the way. Naked in there, buddy? A little bit. <laughs> Eric made me a delicious sandwich. Thanks, dog. <laughs> With this. <laughs> Eric's bike's a little quite dirty. When was the last time you rode, bro? This opening day? Seriously? I can't remember. Oh, I think I did it Squamish Day. Okay. It's been a little while. Couple hours later. Been of water here. A little too much, maybe. I think we both have three liters ish it's pretty hot out so it's kind of hard to gauge i can't believe that you're on, a, on an 11 speed still i can't believe your uh <laughs> your drill reset itself right four minutes ago i was gonna say this is a pretty nice start because we're on a paved road but i can already tell you this guy's gonna he's trying to kill me today this is gonna be tough eric said he hasn't been riding much so maybe we'll balance out because i've been riding too much but you look pretty comfy with what you're doing right now so first downhill of the day yes it's a great it's a pavement downhill but i'm okay with that <laughs> all right we're gonna make this a thing i think i'm guessing that we're 10 percent up so far yeah it's maybe i'd say a little more Oh, a little more. Jack Ripper's. Oh, nice. So it's up here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But this was all road. It just gets harder the more you go up, actually. Okay, that's depressing. Yeah. We've made a couple turns and we are hitting the dirt. Okay, we gotta make a decision whether we're, oh, I know exactly where we're at. Uh, should we just do the road? All right, I've done this climb. We did this on day three of the Chasing Epic trip, this climb, and uh, I didn't film it for you guys to suffer, but it is brutal. All right, first, first pitch of many, done. That hurts. Eric only has 11 speeds. Get wrecked. <laughs> the reason we're taking the road is it shaves about an hour of climb time off. Gosh, that's brutal. I think it was easier today than it was last time I did it though. I think it's good because we're doing a whole lot more after that now than I did that day. Don't let him fool you, he was grunting. Oh, I'm having trouble for sure. <laughs> We've made it up to this beautiful lookout and there's people, people parasailing is it? Or is it hang gliding or, huh? Paragliding. Paragliding. Yeah, no, it was a good sandwich. Thanks, dude. Better be, I paid $8 for it. Oh, I thought you made it. <laughs> That's why I made it for this. <laughs> oh, hey, let me guess what percentage we're up. 1,600. Okay, so 1,600 out of 4,800. So we're like a third there. Middle Earth, ascending Middle Earth. <laughs> who's Frodo and who's Sam? <laughs> I don't want to be Frodo. I want to be Sam. Okay. That works out perfectly. I think Sam is the bamp. All right, things have not gotten easier just because we got on. I have a squeaky linkage. Just a heads up, you guys are gonna hear it in the video. The bike has been taking a beating at the bike park.
Oh god! <laughs> I've had an oopsie, Eric. Hey, you know what's cool about this camera? I can just take it off. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous right now. Oh god. <laughs> My buddy Adam on the Chasing Epic trip also crashed on a rock and slid down it. Now you're not alone, I've done it too. This is terrible for me for the rest of the day to be doing this though. Oh yeah, easy peasy. We are working hard. Pretty pretty. Did you say you knew how high up we are right now? Uh, how far we've gone? Uh, 743 meters. Okay. And we've pedaled only 9.7 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fairly steep. Pretty steep. Check it out guys, I, get, I got to see Eric saw here at the last second before we head out. You see that tiny little dot right there. That's the black tusk just poking over that ridge. All right, back to climbing we go. How are you feeling so far, dude? I'm, I'm like, actually, I'm afraid to say, but I'm feeling okay. Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm, I'm just happy to take the breaks. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling better than after the road. We're way out here, way out here. Cause if something goes bad out here. You are, you have to have a helicopter. There's no, L, no other way. As you all can surely tell by now, this is an absolutely gigantic ride. And what you'll see on later in the video, Eric actually started having some bad quad cramps. And if you've had those, you know that they are terrible. It hindered him from keeping riding as hard as he wanted to. And it was really frustrating. You know who didn't get cramps though? This guy. And I like to think that that is because of the awesome sponsor of today's video, Element. For those of you guys that don't know, Element is a tasty electrolyte mix. Something that I have been taking now with every ride before, after, or during for the last year and a half. And for a year and a half, I have not had any cramps or post-ride headaches. I like Element for a number of reasons. One, because it tastes amazing. Two, because it's a very simple, straightforward formula of potassium, magnesium, and sodium. No sugars, no added BS that I gotta worry about. Element also comes in these awesome little portable pouches that make it easy to take anywhere. I bring them on all of my trips. Sometimes I even bring them on my rides in a pocket, which I did on this one. And thankfully for Eric, I had one to give to him, which helped him finish the ride. If you've ever struggled with post-ride migraines or cramps from big rides, or if you just do big mountain bike rides out in the sun, I cannot recommend trying out Element enough. And right now is a great time to do so because in collaboration with me, Element is offering any of you guys that make a purchase on their site a free sample pack containing eight different flavors so you can kind of try all of the different flavors and decide which one you like most to purchase in the future. This deal is only available through my link, so click the link down in the description below or you can head to drinklmnt.com forward slash sampler to get yours today. All right, now let's get back to this epic ride. This is why they put the plastic disc in there? It is, that's exactly, that's exactly why that disc is there. <laughs> Thank God we could get that out. That would have been a humongous bummer. Oh, no. oh what? Oh no. This is steeper than anything this morning. <laughs> we way out here, way out here. All right, we've been pedaling uphill for about like two and a half hours, three hours-ish. We're making we're making progress, we're, we're getting there. So we've come up so high, we can actually see that, that tusk that I was telling you about much better now. Look at this, that. Apparently you can climb up that thing. That's wild. Not like a cell tower or something. I think we can find some shade and have a bite to eat. All right, we've uh, <laughs> stopped at this beautiful cell tower or whatever for some more snacks. Yeah, have you looked at how high we are now yet? I'm gonna guess 800 meters. So we've climbed 967. Whoa, 967? Yeah. Holy. Hey Eric, what do you say, uh, you like to go on a little bike climb with me today? I like to go on a hike a bike. Would you like to go hike some bikes? <laughs> Wait, are we going down the trail or up that trail over here? Yeah. Okay. Got quite a bit of food in me. Ate what I brought for lunch and a gel and hung out in the shade. And now as Eric is constantly reminding me when I say we've only got 200 meters left, we have a tough 200 meters left. I hope I'm right. 
Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> Pretty steep given we've already climbed 4,000 some feet. Okay, one step at a time. I keep thinking that I should get back on my bike because I'd rather pedal. But like immediately when I think that we come to something like this, where it's like, there's no way I'm making it up this. <laughs> Even if I did, it wouldn't be worth the energy expenditure. You got some fresh scat up there, dude? Yeah, there's bear poo. You, you won't be able to run very fast if they're coming for you. Mm, pretty fresh stuff, man. <laughs> we got on the bikes and started pedaling again, and Eric, I'm not gonna lie, all of a sudden my legs are fried. Holy moly. We've been climbing for four hours. I don't think either one of us will complain about being outside and on the mountain for a whole day. I'm not seeing that much more above us. Eric, oh no, uh, he laughed. Don't trick yourself. Oh no, okay, I'm hanging up. I think we're... Yeah, uh, I like I always have a caveat. Oh no, well, what's the caveat? You, there's like a bit of a traverse before oh, we go down. But, but that's fine, the traverse, you said that the traverse is undulating, which means we get downhill in addition to the uphill. Currently, we've been going uphill for four and a half hours, so... <laughs> And if you're putting your knee pads on, that means there's some exciting stuff coming, so. He knew exactly why he was putting his knee pads on. Immediately, just big slab. Tall, right? Yeah, I'm pretty happy we put our knee pads on. Oh yeah, starting to get some payoff and I like it. Oh, it's bringing me back to life. Oh no. All right, we've officially hit hike a bike territory. This climb has become brutal. Oh, second guessing saying yes to this. It's a bit late now. Eric says we're pretty much at 1,400 meters. Is that 5,000 feet? 4,800? Something like that. Shooty. Steep and shooty. I want to say this is a double black trail. I think that that's like the official rating. Whether Eric, I think he says that it's more, it rides kind of like a black, but it's so far out here that they rated a double black. Whoa, rock climbing wall. We had a couple fun downhills, but don't be fooled. We're still climbing, going on five hours. Somebody help me, send help. This is the true start. You say that. No, I'm not gonna be fooled again. This is the true start. Nonsense. We have officially made it to the beginning of Jack the Ripper. Starts out with a little squirrel catcher. Nice <laughs> rock roll, like six feet down there. All right, bit of a tough starting move here. I think the rock roll is not so bad, but <clears throat> getting into it is gonna be, is kind of difficult. We are about to find out. Yeah. It's not that bad, dude, of a compression. Oh, you got a gnarly climb right ahead of you. So do you. <laughs> no thanks. A little too juiced for that. Nice. Ooh. Okay, now there's no line up here. Sick. <laughs> okay, this is freaking rad. Oh, wow. Nicely done, bro. That's not easy. Yeah, you you got you had a little bit of the wobbles there. Uh, I kind of think that this is double black. Yeah, I know, but you said it was kind of like it rode like a black diamond. I said it rode like a double black, but it's not prolonged. If you get down lower, it'll be chill out a bit. 
<laughs> my bottom bracket caught. I'm gonna do it again, but more speed. Yeah, you just gotta get there and let off. I think so too. Wow, this is no joke. Oh, bit of a compression. Dude, nice. Whoa. Eric and I were actually talking in the car on the way here about how you, out here, this far out and on double blacks, you don't just go. Not a good situation. <laughs> Like if you can't see it, I can see that. I can see where I'm heading. I can see the line, so I'm confident enough to go. Dude, this is wild! Very nice and challenging. Oh, wait, is this that? This is that famous spot? Oh, you mean in the picture? No, this isn't that, is no, it? That's, that's at Alice Lake, or... Dude, rad, okay, I'm happy we did this. Wow, look at you! <laughs> Second wind. Judy. Blow me. Yeah. Wow, that parallel route. It just went forever. This is even more intense than I thought it was gonna be if I'm being honest. And, and I mean that in the best way possible. <laughs> Real serious where you got a nonstop focus type riding even on the trail and I love it. How are you about to start? I don't know, but we'll <laughs> I'll give you plenty of space. <laughs> Just start with the track stand, okay. Oh my. Oh. I had a hard time getting on. I'm impressed that you track stood like that. This is just so awesome. You got it, you got it. Little catch berm here. Go on the high side. Nice, dude. Great control. Whoa, look at this shoot. I'm gonna give him a lot of space. I know you guys can't tell, but this is steep and loose. I'm like surfing an avalanche following that close to you. Oh my gosh, so much work, dude. <laughs> nice, bro. Yeah, that was awesome. Yes. <laughs> oh, so what a great catch burn at the bottom. Oh, 
Holy f Yeah, the run out not so good. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, pretty you see, people are just going straight into this, and I should have just done that, but I tried to make this turn and it was, uh, ooh, spicy. Yeah, it's like crazy loose now. But I think that that's just how Pemberton is. Our day in Pemberton was like surprisingly tacky, so I'm spoiled. It, it had just gotten some oh, rain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, this one's a bit funky. I yeah. remember being spooked by this, but you just roll there. And you just roll it and know that your pedals are fine. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah. Ugh. I didn't make the turn. Tough. Punchy climb. Nice, bro. All right, I'm down to one water bottle, and Eric says we have quite a ways left. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll drink it sparingly. I'm very thirsty. All right, Eric's quad is threatening to cramp, but well, the show must cramp. go on. It did cramp, and now it's released. Good. We we had a bit of medicine, so. <laughs> That is not code for drugs. <laughs> Gnarly. Gnarly. <laughs> what an adventure you brought me on, bro. Thank you. I love nothing more in this life than getting out deep into the mountains on my bike, bro. You know that. Holy loose rocks. Wow. That was a weird one. That drop in over that roof was scary. <laughs> that's rowdy. <laughs> yeah, that's legit. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are you thinking, bro? Why are you pedaling this? Why are you making me do this? Uh, it wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> Yo, what is this forest right now? We like dropped into a new zone. It's gorgeous in here. What? Yeah, there is. Anyway, I think we're We've kind of come down to the forest. There's a lot of scree on the trail. Oh my. I put new brake pads on today. I'm happy I did. Ooh, a loose outside line. Nice line, dude. Where is he? He's gone. Oh gosh. It's so choppy in here. 
All right, some drops here. Oh, I sent it deep. <laughs> that was rad. <laughs> that was that felt really good. Oh yeah, that was awkward. But this is so cool. Holy. That was so awkward. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. I got the whole thing. Oh yeah. Holy right. cow, that was so weird. Yeah. Eric, you went into that pretty hot. You went into that slab with some speed, bro. Oh, dusty. So dusty. Sick. So sick. Nice. This is great. Woo, nice, Eric. It's cool watching like the amount of bike body separation happening. <laughs> I'm gonna skip this whole section. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk on by. <laughs> That's like either option A, I go off a cliff. Option B, I just demolish my derailleur. Option C, I break my wheel. Or option D, I might make it. <laughs> just word of the wise, look, you know that we are both good riders, but... You get to the end of a long day where you're you're pushing like 5k vert and you know that you're like very aware, acutely aware that your body is drained, you're feeling it. There's no need to go doing stuff that you're not comfortable with. We're like way the hell out here. Yeah. Ain't no need to do that. Don't get yourself wrecked because you had too much pride. Plus nope. you might, might not be thinking straight. And you might not be thinking straight. Yeah. All right, I'm getting down off my soapbox and back onto the bike. <laughs> that was weird. Some very strange moves. Yeah. Looks like a pretty bad idea. It also looks like there's a snake in that hole. Oh, this is the crazy one? Oh my. So far it's okay. Okay, yeah, we're good, dude. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. It looks pretty intimidating from the top. Yeah. Left line looks kind of fun, but go down yeah. this right side here and we're good. Don't go that way. I think it's smart to look at it because we the way we get got is by being nervous out there on it. Yeah, buddy. Bit of a wild run out there. You don't want to just go mobbing into. Holy. This is where I need to give him space. Right here. If you if you're thinking it then don't do it. I'm still track standing here behind you. Oh, <laughs> You're good. Yeah. 
Thanks, dude. Wow. Woohoo! Yeah! That was crazy! Holy cannoli, you're so high up there! <laughs> that got my heart going. I felt good about it though. Quite a compression off of that line that I said in the middle, but I still think that that's the best line. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah, dude. I think that's a good call, man. I, like we're, I'm, I know that you're fatigued because I'm insanely fatigued. Yeah. And like, I don't think we should be doing sh that we feel iffy about right now. Yeah. This is the crazy thing. I think take it off the right. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. Whew. Man, this place is building my confidence. For sure. I think I'm being smart. I don't think I'm taking unnecessary risks, but I feel so much more confident and I think it's helping me ride to ride up to my skill level and it feels really good. That's, that was gnarly. Steep shoots, okay. Noted. Bit of a weird one. I had to like push my body forward past it. You're good. I'm pretty far behind you. Oh my gosh, it's still going. Holy. Wait, it's still going? This is crazy. <laughs> I was like, all right, oh yeah, this is fine. It, it was, but you're right, this turn is like the thing. Bro, where does this trail go? Oh. Wait, it's like this for so long. Just let it roll. Off the brakes, let it roll. Oh my gosh! Ah. Yeah, it's so overgrown. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has been such an amazing adventure. Oh, I'm glad I have goggles on. Oh, I'm so happy for Eric bringing me out here. Never been that bad. That's yet. wild. We are gonna need to do a tick check. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't realize I was gonna be in a steep shoot. 
this shoot is amazing! <laughs> that was awesome! I see the road, baby! There's the man, we did it! Yes, we did it, bro! That shoot at the end was amazing! That was quite an epic. I did not realize just how much of an epic that was gonna be. Oh yeah, dude. Holy, that was amazing. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Dude, oh, that was so good. I'm so tired. My hands, my wrists, my whole body is toast. Thank you, sir. Cold drink. Yes. Cheers, bro. What a day on the bikes. Cheers. That was so sick. <laughs> Don't mind us just sitting on the side of the road here trying to move but can't gone through two sparkling waters each already And I think Thai food is on the menu <laughs> Cheers to mountain bikes. Yeah, man Big rise. and being out on the mountain for an entire day Hours and hours. God, that looks so good. I haven't had one of those in forever. I might have to try one. Something about dairy and me and after ride, which is. <sighs> Eric, thank you. I am in a lot of pain. I'm very tired, but we did go get some pretty darn good Thai food. And uh, now it is time to get clean and I'm gonna be in, in the bed very quickly i am very much looking forward to going to sleep because i am absolutely annihilated thanks for agreeing to go too because i wouldn't have done it if you hadn't come so oh man i had a great time that was an epic yeah. epic ride if you ever get a chance to ride jack the ripper do yourself a favor and go do it just be prepared bring enough water bring enough snacks and make sure you're up for that downhill i was talking to eric at dinner and i was like in the states you kind of have your epic rides and then you have your gnarly rides and it's like two separate things Jack the Ripper is the whole package. That was incredible. That riding, like, it was an adventure. We were out there in the mountains for hours, the whole day, actually. And then the downhill was gnarly. It was full on. So, yeah, you can't really get, I can't ask for much more out of a ride. So, yeah, man, massive, massive thanks for bringing me on that. I had a blast today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching, coming along for the ride. And uh, yeah, I still think that I got one more day at Whistler Bike Park before I head out of here. So there will be another video from that and I'll see you guys there. But for now, all that's left to say is live free, ride hard. And I need to get some sleep so bad, I'm so tired. Get stoked, man. All right, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>